Hi, um, today's presentation is to, um, to allow you to discover a new security systems that we now have in Canada uh, from a company called Ajax. Um, they are very popular in Europe and, and, and now for the first time they are available in Canada uh, via an access security system. Um, so today's goal is to uh, show you why uh, I think that this is a very good system and that you must know about it. Okay. So my name is Frédéric Bergeron. I'm uh, the head of tech support uh, at Inaxis Security Systems. I've been with Inaxis since 2006, but in reality, I've been in the security industry since uh, 2002. So uh, 20 years now. Uh, doesn't make me younger, but you know. So um, again, today um, I want to show you uh, the uh, you know what the Ajax system does, uh, and um, and also what uh, the Ajax system can do. Um, it's, it's basically a, a wireless system that is uh, based around um, a hub, all right? We have the black version or white, and it, this is the same for all accessories that we have. So um, depending on, you know, the environment, all right? So you can choose between the two different colors, all right? So again, this is wireless system. We have an array of different devices, such as motion detectors, um, motion detectors with camera for a snapshot, all right? So when there's a detection, you receive a snapshot within the app um, as a push notification. Uh, obviously, we have, you know, door contacts for windows and doors. Um, also smart, um, you know, uh, outlets, you know, so you can control third-party devices via the app or, or when the system has an event and so on, all right? So, um, this is designed for residential application or commercial applications. Um, but again, it's, it's a system that is so easy to use. Uh, you just can't miss it. You have to look at this system and contact our sales team for, for examples and the brochures and so on. If you visit the Inaxis website, you will find the area of devices available. Um, today, Ajax may have about 60 different devices um, and they are grouped in different families. Uh, first of all, intrusion devices such as you know, uh, door contacts, motion detectors, um, and so on. Then uh, fire alarm and carbon monoxide detectors, right? And also water detectors, uh, which is something that we actually use here in-house, um, you know, to detect if there's a flood or, or a leak in, 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 the, in the system. And also home automation devices such as smart, um, you know, uh, outlets and, and to control third-party devices. The, the key uh, and, and or the main questions that we get asked when we uh, discuss about the wireless system is how far can it go? I mean, is it going to be able to detect a, a device in my basement if my hub is in this, the second floor or vice versa? And then you'll see that the Ajax wireless system um, technology allows to have a very long distance between each devices. There's also range extenders uh, available if ever there is a concrete wall or uh, something that is reducing the signal strength. But in the line of sight, um, you will see that um, when in an open space that the devices can reach up to 2,000 meters, all right? So it, the distance is typically not an issue and you will find that the wireless is quite reliable, very reliable. Battery life, and this is again a key about this system. Um, typically, um, a device will, uh, the battery will last up to seven years. Okay, so it, you don't have to replace them every year or every two years. It is a system that uses very little battery, uh, you know, to operate. Okay, so we, we believe that in, in most conditions, we, the battery will last up to seven years. Okay, and then the, the question is, um, how will I know if the battery is low in a device, okay? The trick is um, obviously there is a, there's an application that will install on your phone or tablet, smartphone, either Android or Apple devices, and then there's push notifications, okay? So this is an example of the app. Um, I can arm, disarm the system, I can program it, I can change settings, uh, but the key is that if a battery is low, you will be notified in the app as a push notification. So you know right away, the device is still functioning. You know that, okay, you have to replace this battery soon, otherwise the device will go out of function, okay? This is an example of, sorry, of the notification. This is exactly what you get in your, in your uh, smartphone. 
how to monitor the Ajax security system. As I just said, the, um, the system works on iOS and Android. Okay, so you have your application. Uh, for you, the installer, there's also a pro version of the application, so your client can actually share his system you know, with you, so you can help remotely to program, and then they can remove you from the system. Okay, so you, it's, it's, a, it's a combination of the client needing you, and then you're the expert, so you can connect with the pro app to the system, make the, change, the required changes, and then you know, the client is satisfied, and you didn't have to move or go to the site to do it. Okay, so, um, but the application is one way to uh, monitor the system. Okay, um, obviously from the app, like I said, you can arm and disarm. Okay, and also um, the system can be controlled uh, with the space control remote, also with a keypad, and there's the keypad plus available as well. Okay. Does Ajax support scenarios? Um, the, uh, basically, uh, there's some devices such as the relay, the wall switch, and the intelligent socket. Uh, you can create scenarios. So if this happens, I want that device to go on or off. Um, for instance, here what we do is we use the water detectors okay, to detect humidity or water. And this will trigger a relay that will shut down the valve for the, um, the, water, in, the water inlet. Okay? So then you have time to repair, call the plumber or whatever is required. But yes, you can create scenarios. So when an event occurs, you want something else to trigger or you know, disarm or arm or notify. So it is, it is something that is an awesome feature of the system. Will my cat or robot vacuum set off an alarm? So the motion detectors that, that are available now, um, they are smart detectors, okay? So there is an algorithm that will detect that, okay, if it's less than 50 centimeters, um, or if it's lighter than 20 kilograms or 44 pounds, then these are treated as false alarms. So you're not notified, okay? So only if a human, someone has a specific size and height will the trigger an alarm with the motion detectors. In addition of this, there's also the motion detector with camera that will send you one, two, or three snapshots when an event occurred. So you know on your phone you have a, an image of the, the, the yeah. I would say the suspect that is in front of the motion detector. Okay, so you know it's not a cat or a, a mouse. Okay. Can we add and remove system users? Obviously. So that's something that we discussed a bit earlier, okay? So you can invite family members to the hub, so then they're allowed to, you know, to receive systems, depending on the role, you can allow them to arm and disarm and so on, and also receive the alarms as well, okay? So there's different rights. There's normal user, admin with full access rights, okay? But administrator without access to the panel settings. So they could change devices, but not the panel settings, okay? And you can, as I said, you can invo invite a pro uh, to your system so um, you know, they can help you with programming or, or troubleshooting the system. Does Ajax support video surveillance? Yes. So basically, within the Ajax app, you can add an NVR or a DVR or even RTSP streams. Okay. So from the same app, from the Ajax app, you can also look at your cameras, playback, you know, like basically it's kind of replacing the app that is typically used with your, um, you know, um, NVR system or DVR system, okay, all in one app. So your security Ajax app is also allowing you to integrate with video, which is a great feature. Notifications. So as I said before, Ajax will send you notifications for anything that is programmed in the system. So the system is armed, a door contact opens, right away you have the, the event sent as a push notification. Okay, so whether if it's low battery, a panic button that is pressed, um, water leak detection, motion detection, all these different devices or uh, burglary devices, when triggered, they will basically uh, trigger a, a push notification you know, to the mobile app. How Ajax does send alerts so quickly? Uh, mainly, there is a 
communication between the hub and the device. If for some reason the device does not respond in time, then you will have an alert, okay? But continuously or at a specific timing, the hub will, you know, request, you know, um, an update from the device. The device says, yes, I'm okay, everything is fine. And this is how the system maintains and monitors all of these devices. Should anything happen, again, you receive the push notification. Preventing sabotage. All right, so what happens if the internet goes out? By default, the hub that I have here, which is the hub plus two, um, up to plus, <laughs> okay, um, has two SIM card inputs, Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Okay, so in theory, you could have two different cell phone providers set in the system, as well as Ethernet and Wi-Fi. If one fails, another, you know, uh, protocol will be used to communicate with the internet and, and the cloud. Okay, so this is very important. Even if you cut the internet cable, you still can send the alerts via the cellular network. Okay, so there's a lot of different paths available for you to make sure you receive all alarms at all times. If there's a blackout, will I be left unprotected? No, Ajax will continue guarding your, your, your home locally within the hub and the devices are connected via wireless. And then when the internet comes back, then you will receive the alarms that were left inside the hub during the, the, you know, the blackout, okay? So you will know exactly what happened when the system goes back online. Can Ajax be act? Um, basically, Ajax is a closed ecosystem. They did not use Zigbee or Z-Wave for the wireless devices. It's their own proprietary wireless and it's secured, okay? So um, they eliminated um, you know, uh, breaches and failures by replacing algorithms um, and with their own solution, okay? So the software is developed by Ajax you know, and they created a, a radio technology called Jeweler, okay? Um, and the operating system is called Milvich, uh, which is um, a real-time operating system that is immune to viruses uh, or, and, and then basically created their own Internet of Things within the Ajax system. Can Ajax be jammed? As I said before, there is up to four different paths of communication with the Ajax hub, okay? Whether if it's cellular network, times two, um, or Wi-Fi, or Ethernet, okay? So again, even if the, the, the Ethernet or Internet provider is completely down in the neighborhood or someone will cut the lines outside, um, you can still communicate with Wi-Fi and then as a backup, you have the cellular network, okay? So there's a pretty good chance that you'll know that the Ethernet is down and the Wi-Fi is down, you know, before the, the cell network goes down. So you always know in advance what's going on. Can the radio signal between the hub and devices be jammed? Okay. So not without being noticed. Okay. So you'll know that someone is trying to mess with the signal before it's completely down. Okay. So the hub is always asking the devices if they're okay. Um, you know, then there's no response, it's going to wait 12 seconds and then raise the alarm, okay? So again, it's very difficult to um, uh, interfere with such system. Can the radio signals be intercepted? Um, no. So before the um, being sent, the data is encrypted with an AES algorithm um, uh, with a dynamic key. So each device has a unique identifier. Um, that prevents the sim to prevent forgery, okay? So you can't take, let's say, this device and replace it with another one. It has to be enrolled and it, it belongs to the hub as soon as it's enrolled, okay? Confidentiality. What information does Ajax collect and why? Ajax will only connect data that will help improve the system, make sure that it's functioning properly, but the data is anonymous and also fragmented and encrypted on different servers in Europe. You can consult our privacy policy for all the details. Health. 
I heard that radio signals can negatively affect a person's health, especially men. Is there any truth to that? The answer to this is no. Every, um, there's a lot of things that can affect your health, such as, you know, a bad diet, um, you know, eating alcohol and eating too much junk food, but our equipment is none of those things, okay? So it's completely safe, it's people friendly, and on top of that, we have the EU certificates to prove it. Services. So who responds to an alarm if I'm not home? This is a professional system, all right? So on top of using the mobile app, which you can share with your neighbors if you're away on vacation and you want them to be notified if something happens, but also the security system can be linked to a central monitoring station. The system will communicate via the SIA protocol to you know, your, your local you know, central station. There's several central stations in Canada already equipped with the receiver to, do, uh, to receive signals from an AJAX system. So you're gonna be fully protected just like any security system that you've known before. How much does the AJAX cost to operate each month? Zero. The application is completely free and you can use it on any device you have without any extra cost. Thank you. If you have any technical questions, please comment below and we will be able to um, assist you. And if you are an integrator in Canada, please contact our sales team. We have salespeople across the country and then we can set up a meeting and show you the whole details of the system. If you're an end user and you would like or you would be interested in, in having more details about this system, uh, please contact us and we have a thousand different integrators across Canada that are professional and they can help you install the system in your house, apartment or office. Again, thank you and we'll see you in the next video.